entrepreneurs today in today's video is a wave app accounting review and wave app accounting is a free cloud accounting system where you can use it for free and there's no hidden charges or no additional charges to use wave app accounting so today's video you will learn what is wave accounting as a cloud accounting system a walkthrough of wave accounting layout and interface how much accounting jargons is found in wave accounting sending emails from wave accounting and you will also learn all the features of wave accounting such as what is wave payroll what is wave payments what is wave receipts what is wave connect does wave accounting tracks inventory and how much does wave accounting cost Hi there, I'm Sharon from NutsAccounting.com and I help entrepreneurs to use cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. At Nuts Accounting, there's weekly tips and tutorials on cloud accounting system and online business curated just for you. And if you haven't grabbed your free copy, you can grab your free copy of 3 Secrets to Mastering Wave App Accounting for non-accountants at NutsAccounting.com forward slash 30. And just a very quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Wave App Accounting in any ways at all. I created this video only based on my personal experience in using Wave App Accounting and I hope that by sharing my knowledge with you, you can use yours better. So now let's get started. What is Wave App Accounting? Wave App Accounting is a type of cloud accounting system which means there is no installation and you will always get free upgrade and there is no uh, you can use it on any device anytime and anywhere. There is no restrictions at all about your devices. It's just the same like your Facebook or your Google account. It's just the same theory where you open up your web browser and assess your Wave app accounting. Now let's look at the first the first part that we will look at during a cloud account uh, during an accounting system review which is the layout and the interface of the cloud accounting system so now let's look at the wave app accounting layout and interface this is how it looks like when you log in into your wave app accounting and from here you can see all the layout and interface of wave app accounting is designed to be non-accountant non friendly which means everything is simple and is easy to understand and they use less accounting jargons like for example here on your dashboard you can see the first part of your dashboard is the overdue invoices and the cash flow uh, bar chart and the line chart format. So from here, you can see that uh, your Wave App Accounting, they uses the easy to understand terminologies such as overdue, the, term the terminology of overdue invoices instead of what our what accountants use to uh, use such as age invoices or unpaid unpaid is easy as well such as age invoices yes so for accountants we like to use like a little difficult terminology like age invoices or age bills but if you use overdue it's very clear and easy to understand that those invoices that it's being mentioned here are already due at past its due date and the customers is liable to pay or the bills which means you are liable to pay to your suppliers and on another hand, cash. Uh, in when you look at the cash flow section, Wave Accounting actually uses the graphs, the bar charts, the pie charts, the line charts to help to uh, present the data, the accounting data in an easy to understand format, which is a graphical format in a chart format, because not. Every one of us likes to read numbers and likes to read words, but some of us understand things better when it's used in a graphical format. And of course, when you look at the graphical format, it's easy to see which month is spike higher and which month is lower. 
So in uh, wave epic counting, it uses quite a number of graphical charts on the dashboard itself. Like for example, on the cash flow section, you already have the line chart and also the bar chart here. And the terminologies are easy, such as cash coming in, cash going out. So it's very easy to understand instead of the usual uh, accounting terminologies. Now, when you scroll down a little bit of your dashboard, you can also see there's another chart here, which is a pie chart, which shows you the breakdown of your expenses. Like in the whole month, the expenses for the whole month, what is the biggest chunk that you have spent on? Then you look at the pie chart and look for the biggest chunk of the pie. So now this is very simple and very easy to understand. Everything is presented in a non-accountant friendly way. Now let's look at the menu bar which is situated on the left side of the Wave App Accounting um, page. So for the menu bar, we are going to stress on the fact that Wave App Accounting uses less accounting jargons. What do I mean by less is because um, Certain terminologies we will still need to be retained because there's no other terminologies that matches it that well, such as bank reconciliation. But when you look at it, reconciliation is actually a, quite a simple word to understand, just that it's more frequently used in accounting uh, terminologies. So now let's look at the menu bar. On your menu bar here, you can see there's launch pad, dash pad, all these are dashboard, these are all easy to understand terminologies. And then you have your sales, you have your purchases. So if you want to do anything that's related to your sales of your business, the things that you sell, then you go head on over to the sales section. And if you want to do any transactions at all that's related to the things that your business purchase, then head on to the purchases. So it's very easy to understand all these terminologies. It's just simple, plain English. Okay. And the next one, like accounting, banking, payroll, reports, all these are easy to understand terminologies. No worries about accounting jargon here. Okay, to show you further, let's look at the breakdown of the sales. For the sales section, you have like things like estimates. Estimates are what we usually call as quotations or customers' quotes. But uh, in Wave Fiber Counting, it uses a much simpler terminology, which is estimates. Estimates is like an estimation that you will charge your customer this particular amount. So this is called an estimate. And then you have the invoices. Invoices is very easy, very straightforward. And then you have the recurring invoices, checkouts, payments, customer statements, customers, products, and services. So very easy, right? All these are just simple English and plain, easy to understand words. And now, now let's head on over to the emails function. In Wayfair Accounting, they have this uh, special, not, not to say special, they have this feature where they allow you to send an invoice directly from Wayfair Accounting and email this invoice to your customers. Directly from your Wave App Accounting, you don't need to uh, download it as a PDF, download your invoice as a PDF, and then log in to your email, and then compose an email, and then attach the PDF, and then compose the body of the message, and then send it to your customer. That's a little more steps to do, right? <laughs> so in Wave App Accounting, it's very straightforward, very easy. You just log into your Wave App Accounting, look for the invoice that you want to send, or better still, when you have uh, created your customer invoice, when you are done, directly click on the send this invoice to your customer button, and then this little pop-up here will appear. Now put this on full screen for you. You can see send this invoice. From here, everything has been composed by all the default messages that we have already set in our Wave App Accounting. Now, so once you are done, just click send and then it will say this invoice was sent. Voila, everything is done. You have already sent your invoice directly from your Wave App Accounting to your customer. Now let's look at Wave Payroll. Wave Payroll is an additional feature that's available in Wave App Accounting, but 
don't get me wrong this one is chargeable it's not the same as the accounting feature this one is a payroll feature so they do charge a certain charges for the payroll depending on the number of employees that you are processing and all the things are depending on your country as well so right now it's only available in us and canada so this is how it looks like where you can run your payroll directly from wave app accounting and then the, all the information will be pulled in directly into your wave app accounting now the next one that we will look at is your wave payments in your wave payments this is a very convenient and very easy way to get paid from your customer you can attach on Wave payments is actually a method uh, that Wave, uh, a feature that Wave allows you to collect credit card payments such as Visa, Master, American Express, Discover, or bank payment. So you can collect all these payment methods directly from your invoice itself. When you send your invoice to your customer, there will be a certain button that allows your customer to pay you directly. So once they click on the button, they can fill up their credit card information and then they can pay you immediately. So it's very convenient and very good, I would say. I love this feature because for me personally, chasing customer for payments is not my favorite task at all. So and especially when I feel sometimes I feel that it's difficult to to talk to my customer and ask them hey you need to pay me for this invoice it has been already overdue for like a, a week so it's a little difficult and I'm worried that I will uh, hurt the relationship between me and my customer so having this little feature is very good for me it's, it's very convenient for me because instead of me talking to my customer asking them to pay me i can just remind them and say hey do you notice that we have this new button here where you can just pay directly to me by credit card so <laughs> this is a way way better way for your customer to pay you and especially when they don't need to drop by to your store or your whatever website or pages or wherever you are physically to pass you the credit card for you to swipe on your terminal this is very easy they can do it on at their home on their mobile anywhere that they have internet connection and access to your invoice they can just pay you directly so this wave payment is chargeable it's not absolutely free and later on we will talk about the charges and you can use it onto your invoices recurring invoices or you can also create a checkout and put it onto your website if you have a website so now let's look at how it looks like when you log in into your wave app accounting and if your customer has paid you before this is how it looks like you can see all the details the amount that they have paid the fees that the wave payment charge you and how much you are uh, estimating to receive in your bank account now the next one that we will look at is your wave receipts wave receipts is a very neat little feature that i love it a lot because it helps me to do two things at one go so now let's look at wave receipts when whenever you purchase small purchases such as your stationaries or your pens so when you purchase those things they will not issue you a full um, full invoice that will invoice your with your company name with your company address that's all a little tedious for them so they will just issue you a simplified invoice a simplified receipt where you can just take your phone to snap a picture of the receipt and then upload this receipt into your wave app accounting there are a few ways to upload it either you use the app on your android or your ios uh, phone and then the app will automatically upload it into the wave app accounting or if it's not available or you do not want to install additional apps onto your phone you can always take the picture and then upload it into wave app accounting when you use your laptop or your computer and once you uploaded it then it will pull out all the information from the receipt itself such as the name of the company and then the amount the date it will pull out this information and fill it up into the wave app accounting if you do notice there's a little um um how does it is there's a little changes that you need to correct it then you can just 
go on correct all the changes and then just save it and then it will be automatically created in your wave app accounting as a transaction i like this feature is because my image of the receipt is already uploaded into the transaction and attached to the transaction as a supporting document so it helps me to save my time to archive all and try to save an image of all the receipts everything will be put in there and at the same time it helps me to create my accounting transaction which means i do not need to manually record the accounting transaction later on so it's very cool feature right you can do two things at one go now the next one is Wave Connect. Wave Connect is a little uh, collaboration between Wave App Accounting as o and also using your Google Sheets. You will need to use these two things in order to use Wave Connect. So Wave Connect is a uh, it's quite new, I would say, and it's not it's not commonly talked about in any of the YouTube videos that I can find. So I, now let me tell you more about this. What is Wave Connect? Wave Connect means Wave will try to, you will need to give the permission for Wave App Accounting to talk to your Google Sheet, your account in Google. Then you open up your Google Sheet, which is a spreadsheet, um, spreadsheet function of the Google part. So when you give this permission, then this little add-on menu will be added to your Google Sheets. So whenever you use your Google Sheet, you can you can ask your Google Sheet talk to Wave App Accounting, and then what you can do from here when this communication has already been set, you can download the data from your Wave App Accounting into your Google Sheet, and also you can upload the data from your Google Sheet into your Wave App Accounting, and also you can generate reports onto your Google Sheet. If you have a lot of invoices that or a lot of customers that is new to your Wave, that is new and haven't been added on into your Wave App Accounting, and you would like to add it in at one go, like let's say you have 100 customers that's new to your business and you need to create it into your Wave App Accounting. It will be a little tedious for you to create it one by one in your Wave App Accounting. So what you can do is you can use the Google Sheet and upload all 100 customers into your Wave App Accounting and everything will be in once you uploaded it. So it's very cool feature where you can download, upload, and also generate customized reports for your business. So just try to, uh, if, if you do choose Wave App Accounting to use as your business's uh, accounting system, do try to use Wave Connect. And in my courses that I always teach my students to use uh, all the bulk system in Try to try to create the transactions in bulk as much as possible to save you time. Okay, so this is one of the features that will really, really help you to save time to do your accounting. Now, the next one is uh, inventory tracking. Inventory tracking is not really a feature available in Wave App Accounting at this point of recording. But, of course, we do hope that uh, Wave App Accounting will add this feature in, in the future. I do always receive questions asking like, uh, does Wave App Accounting helps me to track my inventory value, uh, your, my inventory level, my inventory value and all those sort of things? Okay, um, very sorry to tell you right now, no, no. Wave App Accounting does not track your inventory at this moment. So what you can do instead, you can just create it in a manual, man, manually in Excel or spreadsheet, or you can also use any third-party inventory tracking software system to do this for you. So what does inventory tracking mean? It means that it will help you to calculate how much you have purchased, like for example, on 1st of January, I purchased 100 quantities of product A. And then on the 10th of January, I sold 10 quantities of product A. So by the end of 10th January, I will have a total of 90 quantities on hand with me at the moment. So this kind of inventory tracking is not available in Wave App Accounting. Wave App Accounting can only help you to create products and services like product A. 
and what is the details what is the name the full description of product a how much is the amount that you want to sell and whether you sell the product or not and if you do sell the product what is the account that it should goes to such as your sales account and reflect in your PL. so this kind of information can be saved into your wayfab accounting and it will be automatically populated when you try to sell this product to your customer but the only thing is it does not track the quantity in the wave app accounting so do take note and do keep track uh, do take note that if you do sell products or any kind of goods to your customers and you need to use inventory tracking then wave app accounting might not be too suitable for you unless you are willing to do it on a manual spreadsheet or maybe to use a third-party inventory tracking software for, to do that for you okay but if your products does not too much then it's actually quite easy to do it manually as well okay now let's talk about the cost of using wave app accounting as mentioned wave app accounting is absolutely free there's no charges at all no setup fee no hidden charges no monthly fee to use wave app accounting features so what is included in the wave app accounting that is free you have unlimited bank and credit card connections unlimited income and expense tracking unlimited guest collaborators you can run multiple business businesses in one account and in terms of invoicing you can invoice in any country and yes wave app accounting is a multi-currency accounting system where some accounting system they do charge you additional charges to use multi-currency but wave app accounting give its gives this to you for free so you can use to if your home if your home country's uh, home based currency is us then you can invoice your customer in canadian dollar and all the accounting transactions will be automatically converted back into us dollar for you so you can invoice in any currency and you can quickly send estimates and turn them into an invoices upon approval personalize your invoices with a choice of professional invoice templates and of course you have the wave payments to help you to get paid faster and receipt scanning are the wave receipts that we have talked about just now where you can capture and save unlimited receipt scanning with the free apps that's available okay in certain in other cloud accounting systems some they gives you unlimited and some they do give you a certain limit of uh, data like maybe one gig of data once you have fully utilized the free quota then they will start charging you but for wave app accounting it is absolutely free for unlimited receipt scanning well at the point of recording it is unlimited right now and then you can capture receipts even when you are offline and receipts are automatically recorded as accounting transactions in wave app accounting now let's look at the wave payments this is uh, one of the section where wave will charge you if you do use this feature so this is a sample of the charges for us dollars for for home uh, for businesses that set up the home base currency in usd <clears throat> so if you do uh process if you do collect credit card from your customer and your customer pay you by visa mastercard or discover you will be charged a 2.9 percent fees and a 30 cents fees per transaction and if you if your customer pay you by american express it's 3.4 and if your customer pay you by bank payments ach then you will be charged at one percent per transaction fee okay the next one that's chargeable is wave payroll if you do use wave payroll services then you will be chargeable based on the it depends on you are a tax service state or self service state then you will be charged at $35 or $20 monthly base fee and of course the additional charges based on your active employees count <clears throat> okay so if you do want to get to know more about all the charges of wave app accounting you can always head on over to waveapps.com forward slash pricing and from here you can see a little drop down menu at the top just click on the flag the us flag and then you can select the country 
that you would like to see the charges of these uh, countries that's available for your country and there at the last option if you can't find your country name or country flag in the drop down menu here do select rest of the world and rest of the world right now at the point of recording is only the features that's available is only the accounting feature and not the payments and also the um, the payments and the payroll is not available for rest of the world at the moment so and meanwhile just want to emphasize that the rest of it such as the wave receipts and then such as sending the invoice to your customer and then send a uh, wave connect all this is absolutely free comes together in the accounting package itself if you haven't grabbed your free copy of three secrets to mastering wave app accounting for non-accountants head on over to nasaccounting.com forward slash 30 to grab your free copy right now in this video, you have learned what is Wave Accounting as a cloud accounting system, a walkthrough of Wave Accounting layout and interface, how much accounting jargon is found in Wave App Accounting, sending emails from Wave Accounting, what is Wave Payroll, what is Wave Payments, what is Wave Receipts, what is Wave Connect, and does Wave Accounting track inventory? How much does Wave Accounting cost? So let me know in the comments below. Would you like to use Wave Accounting like a pro? If you do, just hit reply at the comments below and let me know. If you are new to Nuts Accounting's video, remember to subscribe and ring the bell button to receive notification for future videos. If you like this video, click the like button and remember to share this with your friends. As always, Nuts Accounting is here to help online entrepreneurs to use cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!